Hey everyone, Nefertil Tech here and today I would like to show you how you can update your Nintendo Switch to the latest firmware and latest custom firmware. So as of now, firmware version 18 has been dropped for the Nintendo Switch and along with that, Atmosphere has also been updated to version 1.7 to support firmware version 18.0. So reasons you might want to upgrade your Switch is because some games actually require a newer firmware or you just want to be up to date on the latest firmware and custom firmware. So just to show you that I'm not running the latest firmware and not the latest custom firmware, uh, you can see that my current system version is 17.0.1. So that's on the latest and I'm also using an outdated version of Atmosphere. So I'm using version 1.6.2. Uh, on an MU MMC partition, so on my micro SD card, and the method that I will be showing you applies to both the OLED model that I have right here, as well as the Switch LCD version that I have right here. So the same principles apply. So if you either have a mod chip in your Switch OLED, or if you have a Switch LCD that can be software modified, the procedure will be nearly identical. So what we need to do is we first of all need to update our custom firmware. So we need to install Atmosphere version 1.7.0 and then we can use Daybreak, which is a homebrew application to actually update our system version. So let's do that right now. So first of all, we need to power off our switch or reboot it into Hackety, doesn't really matter. Um, and then we need to eject the micro SD card and update the custom firmware files. So I'd like to do that through our PC. So I just wait for my switch to reboot into the Hackety bootloader interface and then we can eject the micro SD card. So let's do that right now. And then you want to head over to your PC. So if you don't have a large micro SD card, if you're looking to upgrade one, if you want to have a micro SD card adapter, a USB cable, whatever, I do have some affiliate links in the video description, which will help me out greatly. So if you're on the lookout for some stuff to buy for a Nintendo Switch, be sure to check out the links in the video description. Then you want to plug in the micro SD card into your PC. And right here you can see all the files that are currently listed on my micro SD card. So I'm using the hats package. So that's Atmosphere, Hackety, and some homebrew applications right here. Uh, so what we want to do first, we want to update our custom firmware. So as I said, I'm you know, running an outdated version of the Atmosphere custom firmware, which does not support firmware version 18. So I will drop this link in the video description, which is a really useful pre-package. So it's a package including Atmosphere, Hackety, Tinfoil and the signature patches. So a new release has just been dropped. So if you scroll down, just make sure to download the latest version of this. So just download this zip file and place the zip file on your desktop. I have it right here. So it's 1.7.0-2 as of the time of recording this video. And then you want to select all these files and drag and drop them to the root of your micro SD card. And this will make sure that any custom firmware files that were located on our micro SD card will be upgraded to actually support firmware version 18.0. So this may take some time and in the meantime, you should do a quick Google search uh, to the latest firmware release. So just, just Google Nintendo Switch firmware and you will uh, find a website that lists all firmware files. I cannot directly link it to you since it does contain a Nintendo licensed stuff. So here I have the old firmware, you do not need this. And here I have a folder named firmware version 18.0.0. So what you want to do is once you've downloaded the firmware files for a Nintendo Switch, you want to create a new folder on your micro SD card and you want to name it firmware version of FW 18.0.0. Doesn't really matter, just make it recognizable for you. And then you want to drop all the NCA files that are included in the zip file you just downloaded to this folder. So inside of here, you will just have an entire list of NCA files, which are the firmware files that you will need for firmware version 18.0. So once you've extracted the contents from the head zip file to the root of your micro SD card, and once you have the firmware version 18.0 or whatever uh, included in your micro SD card as well, you can grab your micro SD card and plug it back into your Nintendo Switch. And as I said, this will work for both the Switch OLED as well as the Switch LCD. So right here, it should relaunch Hackety. You may get an error message saying that who will be dragons, but just ignore this mes that message. Go back to launch, go to custom firmware MUMC if you're running it on your micro SD card. Otherwise, you can also boot Atmosphere from your internal storage, of course. And then, um, since we've copied over all the new files from the hats package, we should be running the latest version of Atmosphere as of now. 
So our internal firmware has not been updated yet. That's still something we need to do, but we should be running the latest version of Atmosphere. So just unlock our switch here, go to system. And now you can see that we are running Atmosphere version 1.7.0. E, so it's still running on an MUMMC partition and as of recording this video this is the latest release of Atmosphere which actually supports firmware version 18.0. So to actually go ahead and update our switch to firmware version 18.0 you want to go to the homebrew menu then you want to search for Daybreak and this application is also included in the hats package so that's really nice just open it up go to install then you want to locate your firmware version 18.0.0 folder. Hit OK. It will validate the contents of this folder to actually make sure that all necessary firmware files that are needed for firmware version 18 are included. Then you can hit continue. I'd like to preserve my settings. You can also do a factory reset, but I want to reserve everything. Preserve my settings. And then you can choose to either only use the factory 2 driver or also use the XFET drivers. I always use that option as well, even though I'm using a FAT32 microSD card. Then we hit continue, and this will actually update our MUMMC partition to the latest firmware. So it shouldn't really take that long. Uh, it will prepare the update first. So again, it will check all the necessary firmware files that were located on a microSD card. And now you can see it's actually installing the firmware. And this process goes rather quickly, as you can see as well. So update preparation is complete and now it's installing the update file. So if I remember correctly, the zip file that you just downloaded containing the firmware version 18.0 files is around 320 megabytes. So it's not really that big. Then you can hit reboot and this should boot you back into the Hackety bootloader interface. There we go. So go back to launch, go to custom firmware MUMMC. And again, this should bring us back into the Atmosphere custom firmware. And now, if everything went correctly, we should be greeted by both firmware version 18.0 as well as the latest release of Atmosphere. So I'll just make sure to show that to you once the switch has been booted and once we see the lock screen. So I just give it a second. Now, if we unlock our switch, Go to system settings and scroll down to system. You should see that we're now running firmware version 18.0.0. So again, that's the latest version as of recording this video. And we're also running the latest version of Atmosphere. So it's 1.7.0e. So once again, I'm using an MU MMC partition. And just to show you, we still have access to the homebrew menu, of course. And within the hats package, all homebrew applications that support firmware version 18.0 have been included and have been updated accordingly. So yeah, that's just a really quick video showing you how you can update both your firmware as well as your custom firmware on a jailbroken Nintendo Switch. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos, guys. Peace out.